There we go. So everybody get ready to be a bunny. Ready? Everybody up. Here we go. We'll pop, pop, pop like a bunny. And we'll run, run, run like a dog. We'll walk, walk, walk like an elephant. And jump, jump, jump like a frog. We'll swim, swim, swim like a goldfish. And fly, fly, fly like a bird. We'll sit right down and fold our hands and won't say a single word. Again, good morning, everyone. Welcome to story time. And today's book, we're going to read William Wakes Up. Now I need you to take a close look at the cover of William's tiny notebook. But notice, what do you see? Hopefully you see a bunch of animals that sleep in the winter. Hibernating. They hibernate, sleep through the winter. So this is William Wakes Up by Linda Ashman. Pictures by Chuck Grenning. William Wakes Up. Through spring, the season of hope, and to RSM from LA, must be Linda Ashman. On a quiet morning, sleepy and still, William looks out on a moss-covered hill. He hears a faint and distant tune and says, my friend will be here soon. It's been a long and wintry wait. We need a cake to celebrate. Wake up, it's spring, today's the day. A special guest is on the way. Rise and shine, no time to lose. One rolls out for others snooze. I'm up, I'm up. I'm out, I'm wide awake. I'll help you build, bake a welcome cake. They stir, they whir, they mix and pour. Then Chipmunk comes out on the floor. There's way too much for us to do. We better wake the others too. Wake up, it's spring, today's the day. A special guest is on the way. Rise and shine, no time to lose. One rolls out, three others snooze. I cannot sleep a minute more. I'll gladly clean the kitchen floor. This time it's Mr. Porcupine. They bake, they scrub, they wipe and scrape, says Porcupine, I'm out of shape. There's way too much for us to do. We better wake the others too. Wake up, it's spring, today's the day. A special guest is on the way. Rise and shine, no time to lose. One, one rolls out, two others snooze. A special guest arriving soon, I'll tidy up the living room. Next we have Mr. Groundhog. They dust, they shine, they fluff and buff, till Groundhog groans, I've had enough. There's way too much for us to do. We better wake the others too.
Wake up, it's spring. Today's the day. A special guest is on the way. Does one roll out? Oh, yes, you bet. And the other? Nope, not yet. Of course, up next, we have Mr. Bear. Notice he's using a, this looks like a trumpet, but it's called a bugle to wake them up. Oh dear, says Bear, it seems I'm late. May I help you decorate? They frost, they squeeze, they paste and paint. Then Bear sits down, I'm feeling faint. There's way too much for us to do. Perhaps Raccoon can help us too. They gather round the rumply bed, then pat Raccoon's still dozy head. Hey, Raccoon, pitch in, help out. They tug his tail, they nudge his snout. Raccoon just snores and burrows deep, but is he really sound asleep? What do you think? Is he really sound asleep or is he just pretending? I think he's pretending. My daughter pretends sometimes. Just outside, they hear some flapping, chirping, tweeting, tap, tap, tapping. Then a whistle loud and clear, William says, my friend is here. They throw the front door open wide. Welcome, Bluebird, come inside. We baked a cake, it's just for you, but we might like a sliver too. Raccoon bolts up. Did I hear cake? Don't start without me. I'm awake. Humph, says Chipmunk. That's not fair. He hasn't helped at all, says Bear. It isn't right. It isn't nice. He shouldn't get a single slice. Sort of reminds me of another story. Have you ever heard The Little Red Hen? Well, let's find out what happens next. Raccoon looks sad. He hangs his head. I'm sorry that I stayed in bed. I'd like to help now if I could and have some cake. It looks so good, says William. There's more work to do. Bluebird needs a building crew. Oh, yes, he's right. I do, Raccoon. My friend will be here very soon. We need new nest. No time to lose. Then I will help. I will not snooze. But first, says William, grab a plate. Right now, it's time to celebrate. Welcome, friends. Welcome, son. Welcome, springtime, everyone. And this time, instead of playing a trumpet or a bugle, he's playing a banjo. And the bluebird reminds me of a song called Zippity Doo Da. Zippity Doo Da, Zippity A. My, oh my, what a wonderful day. Plenty of sunshine head my way. Zippity Doo Da, Zippity A. Mr. Bluebird's on my shoulder. It's the truth, it's actual. Everything is satisfactual. Zippity doo da, zippity a. Wonderful feeling, wonderful day. And look, there's Mr. Raccoon. What's he doing? He's doing what he promised. He's building nest for the bluebirds. So that is William Wakes Up. Now, for our craft this week, if you come to the library, you can pick up our craft where we're going to make your own cake. Actually, it's made out of sponges and there are instructions. And you'll need some tacky glue, some real tacky heavy duty glue. And we have lots of different things. First, of course, we have our sponges, our layers of cake. Then we have some other 
craft material, craft paper that's sort of bendy. And we can use this for frosting. We can frost our cake so we can make our layers. Let's see if I can do this. And so we start with one layer and we can put some frosting on that. I'll use my yellow frosting. We could glue that together and we could put on another layer and then we could put on some frosting and we can use some of these. We've got some pom-poms to decorate or there's even there's a piece of straw we could use as a candle if we could get it to glue on. But then we got our pretend cake. We can have a birthday cake or we can have a welcome cake. And we can have, if we have some friends, we can all have our own pretend piece of cake and pretend to eat it. Our do-it-yourself own sponge cake. So that's our craft that you can take home to make a welcome cake for spring. Speaking of spring, last time we counted some eggs. Let's practice counting our eggs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's try it with our song. One little, two little, three little eggs, four little, five little, six little eggs, seven little, eight little, nine little eggs, Ten little chicken eggs. Can you try that with me this time? Here we go. Sing with me. One little, two little, three little eggs. Four little, five little, six little eggs. Seven little, eight little, nine little eggs. Ten little chicken eggs. This time, can we count with our fingers? Everybody get your hands ready. One little, two little, three little eggs. Four little, five little, six little eggs. Seven little, eight little, nine little eggs. Ten little chicken eggs. Good job using your hands. Now, today's letter is this letter. Do you recognize this letter? It's the letter W. Let's sing our A, B, C songs and watch when we come to W. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Can we all pretend to draw a W in the air? You start up and you sort of slide down. Then you climb back up, slide down, and climb back up. This is a capital W. This is a lowercase w or a little w. Let's go look for the letter W. Let's go look. For the letter W, let's go look for the letter W. Let's go look for the letter W way down yonder in the library. Let's go look for the letter W. Let's go look for the letter W. Let's go look for the letter W way down yonder in the library. Okay, let's find out what things you have that begin with the letter W. Does Addie have something that begins with the letter W? Do you have some water, Addie? That's right, but yeah. Do, what do you have? Water. water. Water begins with the W. Good job. And did I get that right, Addie? Ray. Or that's Ray. Yep. Addie's the older one. Yes. Okay, I'm so <laughs> sorry, Ray, I'll get it right someday. Okay, let's find out what we have in the Stewart household. What W? Yeah, so you can show them what you found. What, what begins with a W? What, what are these? Wheels. Wheels, wheels begins with the letter W. Awesome, what else do we have? Do you, you wanna show them yours wheels too, Nick? Do you wanna show them? 
You can show them. A twill. But your wheel. wheel. Yep, we got more wheels. Any other W words? I think we're all set. Okay, very good. Now, of course, our book, William Wakes Up, William begins with a W. Wakes begins with a W. I have some other books that begin with W too. This one is The Runaway No Wheeler. There's Wheeler, wheel right there with a W. Then we have Small Walt Spots Dot. So Walt begins with the letter W. Here we have A Year of Everyday Wonders. Wonders begins with W. We will live in this forest again. We begins with a W. Will begins with a W. This one's a little scary, but woof boy. Woof begins with a W. Woof boy. Okay. And we have lots of other words that begin with the letter W too. Real quick. I bet you guys know what this one is. It's watermelon. Okay, sometimes we see this in a restaurant, a waitress. Mr. Morton has one of these on his wrist, a watch. You might see this at a zoo, a walrus. In some stories, we have a wizard. They're all W words. In our house, we can now, it's springtime, we can open the window. If you go to Wolf Mountain, you'll see some wolves. Woof. Oh, you go to the ocean and you'll see not water, but a wave. Some of you might be able to pull your wagon now. This is a walnut. Here was one of our favorite words, a wheel. You can have these for breakfast, waffle. And then you might see a whale in the ocean. Those are all W words. Lots of, lots of W words. Okay, so that brings us to the end of story time. So let's sing our song. Everybody be a teddy bear. We'll get our teddy bears ready. Here we go. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground. Teddy bear, teddy bear, show your shoe. Teddy bear, teddy bear, that will do. Teddy bear, teddy bear, reach up high. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the sky. Teddy bear, teddy bear, don't you sigh. Teddy bear, teddy bear, wave goodbye. So, Mr. Mike saying goodbye. Keep on reading. Bye, Stuart House. Bye, Ray. Bye. And keep on reading.